what's up guys you are welcome to fentex studio today tutorial is titled how to add multiple characters in a scene as you can see the cursor is moving around once you notice you have we have about one two three four five six about six characters in this scene whereby you can see add more characters in the scene are you with me so in today's tutorial is practically based on adding characters to a scene and also in today's tutorial we'll be talking uh, a little bit in camera settings and how to set our camera though there will still be a part two version on how to set your camera but practically we are practically based on how to add multiple characters are you with me so we need we also need to make use of our camera so that's why i said we'll talk a little bit on the cameras today also okay so before we continue i want you to watch uh this video Costos are the owner of this new apartment. When will my apartment be ready? I'm tired of my old house. Very soon, sir. No. When exactly? I give you a week's time. Okay, sir. In a week's time? Oh my gosh. Plumber, will this apartment will be ready in a week's time? Yes, madam. So, you will notice. Costos are the owner of this new. You will notice that we have about four characters in this scene. Are you with me and the four characters all of them talk right okay so let me try to move it forward a little bit okay the first one you notice we have about this is one two three right he's talking to her she's attentive to what she wants to say right okay and also once we move it for you also notice the eyes reflection from this character here she close her eyes and open her eyes okay you can see her eyes reflection okay now this place also you also notice uh, uh, the worker of of the plumber here right so let's look at it again now you also notice the the uh, you notice the expression of this guy here so let me try to play it you have to look at it very well but let us take those take close attention to his expression so let me try to back forward it a little bit and play it yeah, I give you a week's time okay sir so you notice you notice that I was somehow surprised that what let me play it again and see you can see uh, okay sir so you can see it you can see how he, he was like ah, a week's time okay so in a week's time Oh my gosh. Plumber, will this apartment will be ready in a week's time? Yes, madam. So, something like that we want to create in today's video. So, now, let's go back to plot again. Now, we are, okay. Alright guys, so that is what we want to create in today's tutorial. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, please kindly click on the subscribe button, like my video, and hit on the notification button. On that. So let's get started.
welcome back so like i was saying or i was about to say in plotagon studio story rather both the story and the studio the story is meant for the uh, for your mobile phone right the studio is one with, is what we use now on our laptop but we're talking about the story here it's the same procedure now in this story we have various types of scene various types of scene in case you are viewing my channel for the first time i have a tutorial that explains how to get all these free scene and free characters are you with me i will leave a link in the description box so now in this uh scenes you could see there are as much as there are, I think we have more than 100 things available on Plotagon. Now, they are all categorized under two aspects. That is, there are some things that will give an option to add more characters. Why there are some things that it won't give you options to add characters? Are you with me? For example, let's look at this uh, scene here. This scene here gave me an option to add more characters. So once you see a scene and you see this, probably it's always come like this. Oh, no extra. So well, once it's like this at first, this is what you see. Those the two characters you are uh, uh, you brought in. The two characters okay so if you want to add more characters to your uh, scene all you need to do is to select on this and select with extra okay so as you can see it's now selected with extra then you have them like this hope you get it all right so let's look at other scenes There's some other scenes that won't give you uh, enough character like this one I use if I should open it okay so this is in ballroom the ballroom now once I select on my actor probably this and uh, let me see this okay so you notice you have no option to add more characters but in this scene here you still have options to add characters and they also ask you do you want them to be attentive or not that is when you are communicating with R, do you want these characters also to be attentive to whatever you are seeing or whatever she's saying that is the meaning are you with me so we also have your type of apart from that one you also have various types of scenes that does not allow uh, that you can add more scenes to them. Let's look at this. I just want to try to let you know, understand uh, the type of scene you can use. Are you with me? So, yeah, you can see you have no. Uh, Available, no extra scene available. So what are the what are the types of scene you can use to have more characters? So that those type of scene are scenes that comes in somehow like like a group sitting. Are you with me? Like a group sitting. So let's look at it. Like a group sitting. Like a group sitting trying to look for one probably at the bottom uh where is it okay like this one a group sitting should that one again like this one a group sitting so anywhere you have something like a group are you with me a scene that has a group then 
you will have that extra uh, that extra thing to add to your character are you with me so let's look at this one okay like this also this is a group sitting so you should always have with extra are you with me if i select an extra then you see so these are not my main character first so when i select on actor and i can now select my characters that i want to uh use you can see it's loaded up also add probably scott you can see they are both loaded up now so we have about one two three four five six six characters in the scene you wish you can see add more to the scene so probably for adventure you you want to make use of scenes like this that has no character are you with me so we are going to uh, work on a scene like this are you with me all right now based on the video you watched before we uh, started this tutorial i want to show you the way the way it look like at first now if i should play this you notice you only have just one scene here but you can see a full step here right this is a ghost now wh why did i put a ghost there is because i want to let my this character to i don't want the camera the camera to move closer to him so let's look at it if i select on this you notice the camera but if i should uh remove the ghost probably select no character and i select on this you will notice the camera move very close to what to him which i don't want are you with me so select on uh the ghost so you make use of the ghost to do that in case you don't want the character uh this camera to move very close to your character so you select make use of the ghost uh scene the ghost character right okay so if i should play this for you let's see let me Boss, those are the owner of this new apartment when will my apartment be oops so Okay, let me start with the again. So sorry about that. Boss, those are the owner of this new apartment. When will my apartment be ready? I'm tired of my old house. Very soon, sir. No, when exactly? I gave you a week's time. Okay, sir. In a week's time? Oh my gosh. Plumber, will this apartment will be ready in a week's time? Yes, madam. So you will notice that we only have those women since there, isn't it? But on the video you watched, we have both the owner, the the uh, this uh, both of them. Probably let me see if I can get it. Okay, Scott. At this point, the video I showed you, the female was standing here, right? No. At first, when we started creating this video, the female is not there, isn't it? Okay. So when we look at this one again, secondly, the bu uh, the builder, the worker of this character. Is standing also here isn't it but he is not here right for now so like that so the female is also standing here okay so now how did I go about this we make use of what we call green screen are you with me green screen green screen uh, green screen is a thing that should i call it a png screen you know when you have a photo that is in form of a png you could edit you it is easy for you to change the background of that picture are you with me so green screen is more or less like in form of a video whether you can actually change the background of that uh, scene you are using so majority of those film you watch 
have you all things you watched on uh, YouTube that, for example, you see Superman flying from uh, one point to the other? Are you with me? He's not flying. He's not. It's not. They, he's not even going outside. Are you with me? They actually use a room painted in green. Are you with me? And those who are carry or those who carried in as if he's flying, or they use a rope to carry in. Are you with me? To show as if he's flying. Those rope and those things, those things, or everything they use, they are painted in green. Are you with me? So once they are painted in green, you'll be able to what? Uh, edit the background. So those are. I just say I should just pop that one in. So at first, when you create a video like this, the first thing you need to do is okay. Once I select on this, which the char the uh, characters, how do I want them to be positioned? Are you with me? So did I want them to position like this, or I want them to position like this? Are you with me? So when we look at this, once I set my builder because. Uh, I noticed that okay, the workers are already inside this apartment. Now the owners just came in. Are you with me to meet them? So the builders, the workers should be at this side, while the owners should be very close to the door. So that is one of those things you need to uh, take into consideration before you start. All right. So after that, you now need to also take note of. Now let's continue. So once I select on this. Now, at first, you have what we call this camera. It is very important you work with cameras. They're very important. Because if you do not work with cameras, like now, you notice I have all this. Now, if I should play this right away, let's see what happens. You could notice it actually show me a reflection. Something like he's standing or... Let's look at it again. You notice the camera is showing what is going on here first before it moves very close to in. Are you with me? And I don't want that to happen because I'm dealing with, I want to combine more characters. So all I need to do first is to select on this and this will pop out. Establish shot simply means from this point in which the camera is facing. It will take the shot from that place before it moves closer to wherever characters you want to talk you are talking with. But what you need to do is to skip the established shot. So immediately we play this now. It will not show anything like this. It will just move very close to uh to the character. Pastos are the owner of this. So you can see it compared to if I should click on establishing shot. Those are the owner. I hope you get that picture right, isn't it? So you make use of uh, skipping established shots. So all these ones, like I said, we will talk about it in uh, the camera settings will be on that topic on its own. Exactly. So that will be on part two of the camera settings in Plotagon. So for now, select on skip establishing shots. Okay. So now, once I look at this, I notice that okay, my uh that is here, sorry, my view that is here, that is the boss should somewhere be like this. So he's whispering to his boss that boss, the owner of this apartment are uh, here, yeah, are you with me? So that's why you see this uh whispering. So at first you have it once you set on your builder if you type whatever you type there, you need to select your expression. So I selected on whispering so to show that it's actually what whispering to his boss. Are you with me that boss? The owners of this apartment are here. Now, next thing, you should have it off like this. Are you with me? It's always good you select on you select it on and select on dialog mode. Dialog mode simply will show which character is actually what talking in that word, in that scene. So that is the work of the word, of the dialogue word, of the dialogue mode. Okay? So, uh, now, next, select on this and that scene again. 
So at this point, then I notice that okay, this is the the boss. This is this is uh, the owner. This is the boss of the worker. But at first, the worker is not here. Are you with me? Likewise, the female is not here. But we need to add that. So we make use of green screen. So now, at this point, once I select on the next one, so you will notice, like I said, we need to own this. We don't want this to occur. Are you with me? We don't want this uh, scene yet to occur. We just want it to show us this. Are you with me? So that's why you need to select on skip establish shot on this first and select on skipping establish shot. Once that is achieved, then you can uh, now continue. So skip. So select on this. So I want my character to be at this point. Are you with me? I want the character, the female, to stand at this point. Okay. So I'm not trying to walk you through so you can see where those characters will actually stand before I show you how to implement it in the green screen. So then if I select on this, I also want the worker to be in this point here. Are you with me? Because it was responding to his boss. So we assume he's in this point here. And then again the female should also pop out here. Okay. So okay the pump like again then the uh, worker should also be in this point here. So now at this point uh this is where because I want to, because I'm bringing another character inside this scene. You know, this is a scene first. Only these two characters are there. So, because I want to bring this character inside this scene, I have to create another scene using the same scene. Are you with me? So that it will look as if we have all of them into the scene. But we still need to make sure that they are all present at once, right? So, and that's why I said, oh my gosh, in a week's time, then this next character comes in. So, I need to create another scene to make this character, to have these two characters here. So, select on skip, establish shots, skipping establishing shots, then I need to make the main character be on this point, right? And the worker also be on this point. So, now let's start from the beginning again so from here i don't need to have any character here this way so this one i need to have a female character here right so let's select and let's go back so once you, this is the uh, okay come let me delete this oops so sorry about this let me go back. I was trying to delete this, but never be mind. So once you have your scene you want to use and you bother those character, you need to also have your green screen at the side. So try to open it. Now this is the green screen. Oops. It should be a mistake. It should be on a green screen. So how do you get the green screen? We have uh, two types of green screen. Once you scroll down, you should have green screen room and green room and green screen. Are you with me? This one is actually used if you want the figure to be facing straight. Are you with me? We'll make use of this also. But for now, we use this green screen room. So in the green screen room, now you will notice the owner at uh, this side the builder at uh, this side are you with me so because i want my character to face this side are you with me so i make use of a ghost uh a ghost male here are you with me hmm? so coming to beat 
ok excuse me all right so now probably i don't know let me see i'll make it far because it looks so close you will notice from uh trying to show you something from this point here from this one here let's let it load okay you notice that the character standing here is like the camera is showing him from this point down to this point so you also make sure that whatever character you have here will also have the same uh, level of of height are you with me so now you have to go back select on your green screen then in the green screen they don't need to talk are you with me you don't need to add any uh, words to it exactly so now at first once i select on uh select on this it's showing me half of uh, just like if a uh, passport photograph i don't want that so what i need to do is to select uh probably right so once i select on right now let me see so you can see it's giving me a full footage of r uh, so it's always good once the green screen is just to add more characters to your scene so those who ever are in the green screen are not talking but they will just give you facial expression uh, like that so that it will look as if they are also inside the inside the scene exactly so once i select on this then i have a uh, facing here so so she's facing here then i can also add that character i will just add that very close to my character there so that's the first one so we've gotten our own uh point here right okay oops i forgot to say this so once you've uh, added a uh, into the scene, you need to put uh, something like add something like uh, speech, so that your character to come out. Then you select the type of character you want to use. Are you with me? Probably if wherever the characters here yeah, that is talking mostly, if what you saying is so long. You could add more, 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 more speech so that you would just have the character like that. Yeah. So once you have the character like this, automatically her eyes will just be blinking. Then she'll be having standing and trying to just adjust. Are you with me? So it depends on whatever characters you have here on your main scene, on your main uh, scene. I mean, you could look at the world we have here. The world is a little bit long. Are you with me? The sentence is a little bit probably long. Are you with me? So you need to add more more speech to your characters. Is that to just add speech which on the green screen? So then the next one we look at this place. We need to add and that build uh, the worker here, isn't it? At this point. So let's take note of the camera, the size okay the size frame of the camera so it should be in format in this kind of format right so it said very soon sir right okay so if you click on this and go back to this then you are done with this so you need to add on that green screen again to bring in and that character so you add a ghost to this place because you just want your character to face this side are you with me because if we do not do that if you uh select probably no character you see it's facing but this side and you don't want that so 
you want him to face that direction isn't it so you select on uh on a ghost character anyone anyone so once i select you you see it's facing that side so select on your camera skip establish shot then let's see so now you will notice this the size of the uh of this isn't it is size so you notice it's somehow okay in line with uh with the scene i have there right okay so so the height is the same that's why i just want to let you know so and there's also an expression here okay so i'm just trying to put you through are you with me? I know the video might is taking long, but you need to understand how this video editing is being done. So then the next thing, click on uh, Scott. Let's look at this. So the character also standing here. Are you with me? The female character should be standing here. So if I select back and I click on the green screen now, so I need to add on that screen. Are you with me? Okay. The pumbra. No, this is this is wrong. This is not should be there. That's why it's not showing. I don't pumbra there. I enter on that screen. Okay. Probably this should be. I want after this the female characters to show at this point here so i need to create a new uh a new scene here are you with me so let me create a new scene there then i'm going to take it up to this point here so select on this 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 okay now then create a scene green screen room okay so i want the actors to be there should be those same characters the female and then i select on uh on a ghost probably the male so once i select on victoria first victoria i notice she's having a very uh small the camera is taking half of ah I need to still go back probably on this first and select on skip shot. Don't forget about that. So I don't need to work, I don't need to change anything on this side since she's in the nice position. So I don't need to just change this guy, this ghost, probably putting in the right. So once I view him now, so I still have this character selected in this point here. So she could stand right very close to the to our second right okay so then the next one i hope you are getting it okay so the next one is the next one is said no when exactly i give you a week's time so the woman said okay sir are you with me? And that's when you saw the character I just showed you from the builder that said, What? Okay. Oh my god. It was like surprised that, eh? Okay. Okay. So then we need to add a character here, just like I've shown uh, you. Are you with me? So then the next one again, because I want him to talk alone, and I brought him and he said, Oh my gosh. Exactly. So and now i want this character to talk to this character are you with me in this point so that's why i have to bring both of them we need to create a new scene using the same scene and bring both of them into the world into the scene so once i select on this camera skip shot select on this now what i now need to do is to bring to add the main character here are you with me so Let's go back and see. 
to having the main character there. So if I should scroll down, now I need to add another scene, a green screen for that character to come in. Now let's let's keep this. I am not I didn't I literally did not use this. So let's see. Okay. So at this point I brought in uh the male character because at this point he's not doing the talking. So the male character is facing this side, the ghost is facing this side. So when you notice the male character is in the middle left, the ghost is to the right. Are you with me? So when I select on Scott, you see he's not talking, nothing there's nothing in the dialogue here for him to say. So you notice the height also, right? So once you are done with this, all you need to do is just to select once you've perfect the both scenes, are you with me? Then you need to just uh select on your this your rendering mode. Then for the green screen and for the two scenes, please do not sell uh, exports with subtitles. Are you with me? Export without subtitles. So you select on this. Once you select on this, then follow the instruction. I've done mine so let me cancel this. So we're not done yet. We're only exporting it out so we can use uh, a uh, we can make use of a video, a video editing to edit the two scenes together. Are you with me? So at this point also we we are now done with uh with our scenes, then we've noticed that okay, I also have another character there which I've done. So select on S and export without subtitles so once that is done once that is done now you need to install what we call King Master for those of you that have been following my channel so far you notice I make use of King Master a lot and other video editing app but for today we make use of King Master alright so let's open up our King Master It will always give you in this diagonal uh this diagonal shape. So select on the King Master. Alright. So on the King Master here, I think this is one I've done before. So yours my if if this is your first time, don't select on accept. It might ask you for the auto auto setting, select on accept. Are you with me? Once that is done. It's totally free though you for if you want more scenes or more whatever you should you could purchase it but for now we are using the free package so I already have a video here let me show you how to go about it and you can see it first okay so once you select on create a new video you select on the frame if you are uploading to YouTube you make it a system by nine or if you want it to be a portrait one, you make nine by six or one by one. These are the TV aspect frame ratio sure that is acceptable in uh in King Shot. So if you if you have any other frame that is more than this, it will actually shrink it back to any of this frame. So let's select on this because I'm uploading this to YouTube. Now no, so this is what you should have first. Then you select on media. Once you select on media, then you try to locate the video you just exported out. So you should have the video here. I think this was one I did after once I'm done. Once after I extrude it from Kinshaw, so you said export. So this should be your video. Just try to locate the video file you use. So if I should scroll down, I have uh where are they? Okay, so this is it. So we should have them. This is the scene and this is the green screen. Sorry about this. This is the scene and this is the green screen. So what I need to do at this point is to just select select on the main scene as the video you want to use. Are you with me? Then select on enter. Now, 
after selecting on enter first you need to make sure so then next thing you do is select on layer because you want to bring in let me see this is the main character i'm using oh it's not this so sorry let me delete this this is not the thing i used okay this into this okay so i can enter so what you need to do first is to uh try to cut this out are you with me you don't want this to show since you are creating a video so you don't want to put our watermark to show all you need to do is just to try to edit it by cutting it off but we'll still come back to that and how to do the cutting so probably I make use of uh in shot to do the cutting. Are you with me? Make use of in shot, not skin master to do my editing first, then later continue with what I'm doing. So now select on layer, select on media. So you want to add the green screen. So I think this is it. Probably Oops. Let me see. Let me play this first. Oops. It's not it again. So sorry. This should be it. this. Okay. So this is the main uh the main video that I want to use. Okay. This is the main video that I want to make use of. Right. So then select on layer, select on media, then we want to input the layer into the green screen, should be added as a layer. So select on enter. Now at the point, you now have the green screen here. So if I should reduce this for little now. You notice we don't want any character here at this point, right? Isn't it? So, first, all you need to do first is to, for you to have a better view, thus enlarge it a little bit. Okay? Then, make sure it's selected, then scroll down, search for Chrome key. Now, select Enable. Now, notice this color. If the color is not green, if it is uh, somehow uh, red, are you with me? If the color is red, this the out switch will not go off. So it must be in form of a green color, okay? Because the background of that thing is green. So you can see the uh, the green stuff is normal there, isn't it? Okay. So now. If you notice, you still have a touch of green and R, but it's not that so visible. Are you with me? Okay, so now, now let's look at it. Let's look at this first video here. We have it like this. If I should move it forward, I don't want R to be in this scene here, right? So let me just remove it okay so this i want not to be in this place here so i need to do first is to uh select on this uh, select on this layer and adjust it to that side are you with me so try to use your hand to move forward again okay still need to adjust it again probably move it forward now to this side so you can see Okay, so let's see. It's still showing at this point. Probably move it a little bit backward. Then, just trying to get it first before we uh, put it in the right position. Okay. Okay, so since we've gotten the right position she's not in that scene 
select on this back now once you select on it it should show you this you want to try to increase our uh, uh, scale so that they will also have the same height as you can see like this so I hope you're getting uh, the picture right now so probably having the same height and being the same uh, the same point so once you select on uh, then select on this once you're done selecting on that so the next thing you should not have is so remember we have all this green screen loaded in this point here so we need to uh, look at it again and see okay it's falling in line so you can see our uh, eyes expression she's closing she's closing it is because you just added uh, Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. Are you with me? Because he's talking, so he doesn't need to just add Victoria, Victoria. I mean, on the speech here, when you have your protagonist here, let me see. When you have the protagonist here, when you have the, uh, when the the guy is, the male is talking are you with me so you notice you notice we added uh victoria victoria are you with me victoria so that all only what should be doing there is just to blink the eyes are you with me that is all why the other guy is talking okay so back to king master okay so now this is uh this is done though i won't finish i won't uh do this editing of all of this total scene does give you the simple basics so that you can understand it because it takes a lot of time and patience in order for you to get it so it does give you the hint and how to go about it also so once this is edited we also accept this now what we need to do at this point is to uh, try to cut it. So let's just see. Okay. So at this point, I don't want her uh, to be in this position anymore. So let me see. Still moving. Okay. Okay, in between here. Yeah. So I need to just do nice. Make sure it's selected. Select on this. So let's split at split head. So now it's now split head. Okay, select and enter. So just try to adjust this to this side for now. So let's look at this. Okay, so we notice that she's still disappearing or appearing. And it's because we still need to just probably adjust adjust this a little bit probably adjust this a little bit so once you adjust it it should still show so let's look at it again so once I do this so I think the work interest let's see to that point Fostos are the owner of this new apartment when will my apartment be ready I'm tired of my old house very soon sir no so you could see that scene has take in part. So the next one is let's move this. Let's shift this guys away from me for now. So the next one is this scene is now inside. So the next one is to bring in uh, uh, this builder, this guy into this point here. Are you with me? So what we need to do is uh, try to okay try to look for a point. So probably I guess I missed a particular uh, a particular layer there. Are you with me? So which I added later in the video. So I think the layer should be in this point. 
this place here come in just want to get a layer out from there okay so this is what i need here so i did add that, that layer when i was ed trying to edit it at first then so let me see let me try to move okay oops let me go back i don't want this side so i could just select on this to cut that side off okay so i still want i'm still on this point so let me see i only need i only need him to just stand probably i only need this this point here does this does for him to just stand like that so i need to do this to select on this and select on i don't need this part for now remember this delay i just brought in so select on play a, a trim at this side so to rip all this off so once that is ripped off so probably it's a little bit small so if you have it in a point like that you can actually select this with your bear and all you need to do is just to uh expand the scene by drag using putting your two hands on both sides and widen the screen so that you could have better view so just try to still do it again so the more you do it you see it's now it's expanding then you could now select select on on it okay so so let's see at this point i want the video to be in this point here to select on this fabulous thing so first let me remove the background probably large it like this let me move the background from the scene like this so i need to do is to uh, select on chrome key then select on enable make sure this one is turned to green so once that is that then you should have it like this so once that is done then try to position him in that aspect are you with me so one thing you need to know about the comic key is probably it's always set to uh, a normal range are you with me but you can actually work with change this so you know for now i notice it is okay but if i just select on this you will notice he, the character is getting a little bit blur right so the, this is two guys actually work in together so if i should reduce this back then it's getting faded right so 28 and 50 is the best one so you could actually play with with it just for you to get your characters look more visible okay so select on this then okay i still want him to come in between this point here so just drag it just drag it and yeah at this point is a little bit far so that will bring him into this point like this okay so you can see so you can see I hope you understand you get you get the picture right okay so now uh we still need to let's not bring this one back we need to uh add more more uh characters here so at this point this is what we only have for now 
are using but it's still plain down to this side so all you need to do is to just select on, on this and select this TV on button here and select on duplicate so just select on OK now once you select on duplicate because you have these two uh, layers here that's why it's showing you this color so all you need to do is just to uh, select on enter first then drag this one here by the bottom drag it to the side are you with me so once we look at it again then the slow motion is still in line it's still showing there so when we look to move it a little bit again are you with me so you see it's, it's gone off again right now select on him again select on this table button select on duplicate select on enter there then drag him again drag that same layer so let's look at it again and see okay using my system because these two layers are, are on each other so drag a little bit out okay so let's see so you can see okay it's still off so you get the uh the idea isn't it okay so the next thing again is to drag it like this then when we look at it you can see it's uh moving uh moving in that way so we still need to add more layers so you could do that yourself are you with me so now at this point i notice that okay i want to uh probably you still need to add these layers to these characters here so at this point i want to bring i in so let's drag this one oh so sorry so sorry about that so i want r to be in this position not that position so i need to just, just drag this back a little bit and uh okay it should as if she's appearing so i don't want that to happen so see drag it a little bit forward and let's see okay so now okay so this is where we can see a visible enough off to right so then i have to cut it from here select on this select on cut split that display edge select on this let me drag this to the side first so now when i look at this i still want this character layer to still show so i need to select on this select on the three button duplicate select on enter first then drag this to this side like this okay so once i drag that to that side then let's see so you can see it's going smoothly it's going smoothly it's going smoothly we need to drag this one out so let's just see it's still going smoothly going smoothly okay drag this one out i still need more layer of that so same thing select on this button duplicate select on ok select on this then drag it down here so probably it moved up so that's work of key master just do not worry about that let me drag this okay so at this point that's how we go about it then you can see so you can see add more layer to R and adventure for this guy so you need to drag this 
let me see okay so this expression probably down to down to this point I'm looking at this to see where it stops so before I make use of uh, the character okay at this point so select on this select on this select on this then select on enter drag this drag this out so at this point I need to input this character into the scene so probably bring it back like this so let me see I notice the female is still showing at that point right so let me see let me try to play it from here okay sir and we talk okay it's not showing so what I need to just do is select on this character for now so he's selected and I can drag him down to this side drag him down to this side so you get the points you get the uh, logic right so if I should scroll scroll now I don't want him to fall on this anymore so what I need to just do I can just drag this like this when I look at it again, look at the video again. Stay probably at this point. Okay. So So that is it. Then that's how you go about all. So there's just one more thing I want you to I want you to see here for yourself at this point. Uh something's actually showing. Are you with me? At this point, you will notice uh this watermark and the watermark is caused by this green screen you have here. So all you need to do is just locate where it's stored. Or where it starts from probably somewhere here in between here so just select on that select on this and select on split and play it then delete this so you are deleting this then you can now uh, start placing cutting and pasting those characters at that point so here is the video I did this is the one I did that I showed you so you could see different types of cutting layers adding layers all together all together all together all together are you with me so Postos are the owner of this new apartment when will my apartment be ready I'm tired of my old house very soon sir no when exactly I give you a week's time okay sir in a week's time oh my gosh plumber Will this apartment will be ready in a week's time? Yes, madam. So that's it guys, and that's how you add multiple screen or characters into a scene. Please if you find this video helpful, kindly click on the subscribe button, like my video and hit on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I release more engaging video. Thank you. Bye for now.